Okay, Catherine. So what projects have you developed during your time at college? Oh, when I started attending the College of West Anglia, and when I started Level 2, uh, my first, um, one of the main projects that I developed was the was a documentary project. Well, it was called the Sound and Vision Project, but it was a documentary, and it was called Film Technology Evolution Through the Years. And it was basically, um, it basically uh, explored, like, uh, how technology in film has evolved, like, over the past few decades. So it's like a a big contrast between how effects were made like let's say in like the 70s like star wars for example and how like effects of today like motion capture is heavily used so so i basically explored that and just comparing them um so that was all right and then in level three uh, okay. um so in level three I developed a documentary and radio drama project. For my documentary, I uh, it's called The Legacy of Lord Noidog, which I explored like um, like the company's history and what games they developed and how well received they were, are today. And for my radio drama, uh, I developed um, I um, I developed Alien Everlast. And basically, it's about like it's basically a short story set in the Alien universe where like the crew are, are set are like car from like a station or like a fine area of a space station and they have to like hide from like the xenomorph and i had a lot of fun uh doing that i had some issues with like um uh with some clips i had to replace some of them i, I had struggled with the equipment but eventually i managed to um eventually managed to resolve it with like a small recorder so and for my final major project of that year i did i made a, a narrative short called rush roulette uh it was a horror film which is about like a man uh, who was haunted by the death of his, uh, by the ghost of his dead daughter, and forced him to play like a trial-based game of Russian roulette. And I wanted to make this project because I'm I love horror. Um, I'm really into the horror genre. So I basically went to, um. Okay, so I basically wanted to um. Um, so basically, all the skills that I have uh, gained throughout that year, I basically applied it into this project. I wanted to. I wanted to, um, to execute it to like the highest standard possible and in terms of horror I really wanted to use like how I could actually utilize my own suspense and I feel like it worked very well and that's that really.